Hello there everyone and welcome and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Red Flood playing as Zevdo Rosia, in which I'm your host, Mr. Alexander Karensky Lever, an exiled president, but Adan and Zevdo Rosia. Zevdo Rosia rises from the beautiful stone of the Pacific. Looking towards the west, thinking of Moscow, wishing to retrieve its glory. Perhaps it's high time we gave ourselves some rest and look internally, but we have some troubling reports. <clears throat> It appears that something terrible has happened. Our potato crops have been disappearing, a drought has been extremely harsh against our people, and our production has been essentially non-existent. Workers are starving, not producing anything. We are extremely worried about this recent development and don't know what to do. Followed up with the famine of Zeltorosia. I'm, and I don't know if I'm saying that right at all. Please let me know in the comments below. The Russian Republic is at the edge of collapse. People are dying left and right. Chinese people, which we barely gave basic rights, are now collapsing in starvation and dying in misery without a pain to their name and no food for the family, resulting in working and military-aged men become harder and harder to get. Trumping reports. There's been extremely worrying reports coming from the countryside. Potato harvests have been at an all-time low. Droughts have been at the worst, and everywhere except the big cities such as Arbin have been filled with starvation. We need to act quickly, but the government has been extremely difficult to act, with extreme bickering over what to do, and President Kerensky is unable to do something due to the situation in the democratic process. Therefore, Zotorosia Rossiya has been found, uh, found itself. Situated in a perfect storm and culmination of droughts, bad harvests, and political chaos that result in the worst famine our republics have had to suffer, oh no, in the West. Our border area with the Mongolia has been in utter horror and starvation as droughts hit the area in a particularly bad farming period, meaning that thousands have already died or become permanently incapacitated. Oh boy, that is not good now, is it? In the central areas, in the east. And uh, we ha get about 0.8 political power every single day, which is not bad. Of course, we have uh, Alexander Kerensky. But with a Manchurian minority, which is not good, we have Sergei Wojciechowski. Wojciechowski, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, sounds very familiar. And then Boris Shapushnikov. And we have no field marshal, unfortunately, because we can't put anybody yet. But we'll probably go with Vasily Boldarev. So, we'll see what happens. We have only three research slots, which sucks. We have four civilian factories used right now. And we are on already extensive conscription, holy crap. Uh, free trade, as well as early mobilization. Which is not bad, but the Great Famine. And an old man was sitting at the table before him, lay a small piece of old and dried as uh, rock bread. It was his only meal today. Oh, how terrible life has become for this old man. He already lost his children and his wife to the great hunger that swept the once great area of Zeltorosia. <clears throat> Even as he started, eating tears uh, uh, started swelling in his eyes. His children, his poor children, they did not deserve his, this fate. They did not deserve to die such a horrible death. And his Katarina, his once beautiful wife, her malnourished body so haunts him in his dreams. As he finished the last piece of bread, he went outside. If he doesn't find something to eat, then surely he'll be the next one. And despite some of his drunken claims, death is something that he fears more than anything, but once thought... But one thought was still, in the, was still in his hunger-filled mind. Be eternally cursed, you dude, Karensky. In the central areas. Uh, in the east. Ah, this one first. Even our beloved Amur River, known for its fertility and value to us, has frozen up and crops around it died. We don't know what to do. Things are getting beyond our control. Which is not very good. In the central areas, despite our best efforts, even our beloved city of Halbin is completely collapsed into anarchy. Only a few neighborhoods filled with privilege find themselves with a few scraps of good food, and the rest starve badly. We must do something about this immediately. An ultimatum of the Supreme Zeltorosia Soviet. It's enough. Kerensky must resign for the well-being of the Russian Republic so that the Supreme Soviet can have some form of unity and realization of programs to save people from this horrific famine. We must do something, and now it is the time to do it. The ultimatum. Kerensky is often proclaimed to care for the people. However, his willful inactions cause a famine in Zyotorosia, resulting in thousands dying of starvation. After a perfect storm of droughts, improper infrastructure, and a lack of government actions resulted in an absolute horrific situation where Zyotorosia is near complete compla compla collapse. The Supreme Soviet of Harbin is subsequently sent an ultimatum to Kerensky demanding him to resign immediately. He gave power to the Soviet to design the future of Zyotorosia in an emergency council which will seek to deal with the famine as soon as possible. And so after receiving the no, Kerensky looks from the window, his window, at the top of Harbin and decides to resign. Demands the Supreme Soviet resign. We'll see what happens. And with that, Kerensky prevails. Oh, performs a Rasser. Cool. And the Russian Revolutionary Fleet. We see what will happen down here. Kerensky prevails. No immense cost to his political power and usage of the military, Kerensky has decided to ignore the ultimatum and go take over the Supreme Soviet, ignoring its demand. It appears we have been fallen to his rule for the time being. Um, let's see. Subordinate the Soviets. Now, if we're not going the same direction as you want us to go, I apologize. We'll probably do Zelto Russia quite a few times. Great Directorate. The President has commissioned a new State Department, the Directorate of Internal Affairs. This new body's unprecedented powers and answer directly to the President, Kerensky's critics. If you still speak out, have announced the move as the creation of a personal dictatorship, the circumvention of the Soviets. Kerensky's only retort, I am the Soviets. Huh. Funny man. So yeah, like I said, 
Um, if we're not going the way you want us to go, which I know there's certain there's quite a few routes I want to go with Zelta Russia anyway, so we'll get there. Ooh, that is not looking good. With all this, is this a bad supply, yeah. Well, so much for staying over there. Uh, come over here, see what happens. And we have like no fuel. Daily gain forty eight. That sucks. All right. Uh, progressivism, stability, summer coup war. All right. Subordinate the Soviets. The president is in the head, is the head of the state now. The Soviets. The council's tendencies of the president detractors must be stamped out. Expansion of executive powers needed to curb these malcontents. Less socialism, more progressivism. We'll see what happens. Oh, revolutionary Japan actually won. Also, this is on a historical. I didn't tell you that, but this is definitely on a historical. Hitoshi. Oh. Korean Republic, Korean People's Republic. What the? Why is this? Split over here. Huh. Well, alright. At least up next, we'll probably go and grab this one. Or this dude, Simeon Budyanov. Budyanov. Just because we could use more political power. I mean, uh, better artillery production costs. Yeah, it's not much, but, you know, I'll take it. And we get some daily armor XP now. Which is very nice. My goodness, we need a lot. We need a lot of things here. Lands of Tanzanian Revolt declared war on the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. National Liberal Victory in Romania. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. Victory in the Great War monopolized industry. Kolchak, unstable politics, monopolized industry, victories in the Great War. The cult of Kerensky. The wisdom of Alexander Kerensky truly knows no, no bounds. This commitment to the people's freedom and safety of Russia is something that is admirable and praiseworthy. And the director it's guiding hand shall forever keep us safe. The revolutionary army is committed to his ideals, and all of Russia shall experience his true glory. Hail Kerensky. Hail the Republic. A speech he gave earlier today in front of the director to solidify the people's faith in him. The leader in a republic, he said, must not merely be a parliamentary figure, but the unifier of all of its citizens. Russia is composed of many kinds of people, and both the Tsar and internationals and the culture of government only drove a wedge in between them. But we are all Russians, stretching from Petrograd to Vladivostok, and can be unified by a common national identity and a leader whom they respect and adore. The people willed me into the office, and thus I am their sword and shield. They adore their elected officials like they would God himself, and this is not sacred, sanct, but holy. His statements in today's meeting have been criticized by some as being authoritarian and resembling more of the dictatorship in France than a true Republican government. But he, that with the representation of the Republic's ideals, shall strike down these fools and traitors, and the Russian nation shall rise once more. He is truly the Russian Robespierre. Hmm. We will see. Special committee. Uh, progressive I bet you we'll run out of things you do with our political part, but no, it's not that time. We're already on early mobilization. Superior firepower. Well, I guess we're going to go superior firepower since we did get a guy here, but let's go to you first. Now I get slightly more population. Much more army XP every single day. It would be very nice. So we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Strengthening control over the party. Kerensky has weathered the worst of the storm, yet there are still those within his party that oppose him. They must be removed and replaced with more cooperative members before another coup is attempted. I love his monocle. I think that's great. I think it's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now are you suffering from supply issues? Yes, you still are. God dang it. Cup out at least a little bit more, right? Yeah. <coughs> hmm. Just all pal around and of a stock, maybe. Here. The Republican Party wins American general election. There you go. Actually, now you're suffering even more. Aye, aye, aye. There you go. Um, what do we want to do here? The man in the tower. After Kresge demanded the Supreme Soviet resign, they of course refused, resulting in a violent standoff between the most powerful man in the Russian Republic and the most powerful institution in the Russian Republic, too. Now it seems that Kresge has come out victorious, um, suppressing the Supreme Soviet with military force and forcefully making them all resign. It appears the great democratic dictator of Russia rises. I believe in the Republic. New Constitution. 
And a lot of the attempt to coup against the president has become clear that a constitutional reform is required to strengthen the executive and stamp out attempts to derail the republic. Makes sense. There's no one there. Um, air support. We have no one there, which sucks for now. Um, naval stuff is going okay. I prefer air stuff, probably. Cast. I love cast so much. We might not have enough air for cast. We have tactical bombers, which is not bad, just because of how long this range is. So I'm going to go with bombers for this one. Yeah, carpet bombing, bomber attack. Now, does that affect tactical bombers? We'll see. Or maybe we won't learn. Maybe I won't learn. You guys probably know. I don't. And then with you, open seas. Honestly, we got a lot more um, subs anyway, so we'll go with that one. New constitution, of course. Nothing really there too much. And almost one political power every single day. Not bad. <coughs> Respective war hero. Ooh, daily political power gain. School of mass combat. Ooh. No one there. Of course, no one there. Oh, we do have stuff here too. Oh, that's not terrible. Yeah, I'll probably go this one. And there we go. All right. So what about this stuff? General max army size. Wow. Station command. Single command principle. New Napoleon prevented. Strength and discipline. That's that's pretty good. Max plan plus three percent is very good too. Send pullet trucks to the army. Huh. It's not terrible too. Discussion of doctrine. Recruitable population factor twenty percent. Wow. Grand battle plan, sport artillery, experience of previous wars. It's not bad. This is obviously better, but whatever. Um, did progressivism. President's speeches. Plus thirty percent more political power. Wow. So did the compliance national person remove the minority. Bourgeoisie. Create Orosta. What are the first and most important means of modernizing the nation's proper distribution and unification of communications? A new state-run telegraph and telephone network must be established, of course. With the state running day-to-day -day, uh, day -day communications, a double function of monitoring can also take place. <coughs> President's radio speeches. The word of the executive is immutable and final, and it shall be heard by, heard by every year in every home. Even the deaf shall hear it to speak. Family relief efforts. Many proposals to relieve the armed famine have been tabled. Some have been enacted, others have not. The pain and suffering continues at pace in many areas of the country. The continued comfort of the leadership in Urbin is causing a distant sense of resentment from the outlying towns and far-off cities such as Khabarovsk. Uh, Khabarovsk. If something's not done, the Revolutionary Republic may see an uprising of its own. Do what is ever necessary. National Representative Assembly. In order to maintain the president's grip over non-Russian territories, the National Representative Assembly has been established. A new decentralized body that performs petitions and domestic issues to the executive. Autonomous heirs are given a greater voice in the assembly as well as specific religious groups. And then support the bourgeoisie. While the radicals claim to be the partisans or parasites, uh, while the radicals claim them to be parasites, the small bourgeoisie that has developed in Zetorosia over the 20 years or so, uh, the public should be supported as a chief capital holders and tax base for the government. Abolish land allotment restrictions. In order to enable greater industrialization, a new land policy must be enacted. The reclamation of derelict farmlands and empty towns cleared in the famine will allow new industrial centers, mining operations, and residential zones to be built. All praise we chant to thee. Um, the rep for the president, the savior of the republic, the heir to the revolution, all praise we chant to thee. So like, like I said earlier, I do apologize if we're not going down the way you want you want us to go. But let me know in the comments. Um, what are the different leaders we can get for Zilto Rossia if we took with the other path with having him resign? Kerensky resigned, so let me know. What are the other paths and how do we get who you want us to go with so because i'm sure i'll be playing many nations multiple times so she yes, sr oh anna polka great divide white equals do you need focus oh you don't Darn it. transvania remaining split in two as well huh a speech by comrade kerensky the former formation of the rosta 
has been widely approved by the director as it's vital to ensure that the currency's government is well respected and trusted by the people of the Republic. Republican values must be defended through the pen as well as the sword, and this includes posters, music, and of course radio. Testing the new program, currency gave a speech today on the evils of Bolshevism and the necessity to crush it. Radicals, anarchists, Marxists, they are all the same. They seek to destroy what we've built here in favor of a regimented dictatorship. They hate a republic and wish to subjugate you to the worst kinds of slavery and terror. I shall not allow it. Every international terrorist and his ilk will be put up to, uh, to the sword of the spade. They shall either work for you or die for you. Your liberty is dependent upon their subjugation or their destruction. Make no mistake, sisters, for while this may seem cruel, it is mercy, for they will do so far, far worse than that even in a single finger upon a pistol. We know how the song and dance ends. You have read about what has happened in Germany after the revolution, or the fate of the journals in Hungary, or the current suffering of the Brazilian people. This shall not happen here. Me and this director shall re represent and defend you at every cost. The Russian fatherland must be governed not with mere talk, but with firm in hand, and a steadfast march. <clears throat> Kolchak, Trotsky, Drozdovsky, all shall be thrown out of this country. The new republic in Russia shall rise forth and liberate the world from tyranny. We are the standard bearers of a new order never before seen. The chain has been thrown off, and we, the people, shall stand victorious. What a great speech. And I'll go with the forms of Rasser next. The revolutionary arm of, army of the free Russia needs help in reestablishing itself as a new power that is able to reclaim Moscow through diplomacy or through military means. Through diplomacy? What do you mean through diplomacy? We have a lot of political power now. We did grab a couple companies here. So over on that bad i do want to go tactical bombers this campaign to see what it's like um these guys are exactly the same um harbin strategic aircraft bureau a h s a b h sab or nikolaevsk aeronautics factory naf well this is one less word in the title so i'm gonna go with you that's literally how i decide things sometimes you got less words less for me to read less for me to do i approve so um regenerous victory in this expensive war is already over Holy crap. Well, it's already 1938, everybody. Hope you're having a great, 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 great year. Hopefully, we can start going crazy here very soon. Got some armored trains, which is very nice. Grab some of that as well. We can't even make any trains yet, but you know what? Whatever. Um, Anti-air, yes. would be very nice as well. We need more guns. Artillery's looking okay, though. Artillery's definitely looking a-okay. We do have some tanks here. Um, they're 12 combos, which is not terrible. But the end of war light tank chassis, which is... Eh, it's all right. And we're not going to end the famine just yet. 25 more army XP? Sure, why not? <clears throat> and... Come on, come on. Here we go. The New Republican Soldiers, part of the glorious leader Kerensky's efforts to depoliticize the Revolutionary Army. A new campaign has begun promoting the ideals of the new army and the role of the soldier in it. According to Kerensky, the new army's job is to spread the ideals of democracy and Republican government to Russia and the entire world. It's of Russia, the soldier must be loyal to Kerensky, the director, and the people, and must be selfless in the service of the nation. They must keep themselves detached from all political parties. And should only have the nation in mind when they charge. In a battle, not just some foreign ideology exported from France or Russia. Uh, Kerensky involved the role of the levé, or levy en masse, of the French Revolution when speaking out about the nature of the new army. Thousands were conscripted to serve, and in spite of everything, they won. The monarchist dogs were repelled, and France was, of course, saved. Uh, we shall, we are in the same spot, and thus require the same dedication and willing to serve, otherwise we shall perish. To serve the Republic is in honor. Cool. And decision of doctrine, which is 56 days, which is quite a lot. The air fleet of Russia, free Russia, I should say. Nothing here to get bonuses. Here are models. Mm, yeah, you get a lot of blueprints. That's pretty much it. Which is, you know, it's all right. Blueprints are all right. I guess after that we could end the famine. Maybe we'll see what happens. The president's reforms have finally alleviated the suffering of the people. The famine has been ended faster than anticipated, putting an end to many Kerensky's critics. Those who blame him for the crisis are strangely quiet now that the issue is resolved. And then we'll get a Kerensky's vision, which is all right. Um, even more political power? Shipyards? Sure, why not? I doubt we're going to actually research any naval stuff here, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. And we're going to go see Pure Firepower because we already have the guy there, so. More soft attack, that would be good. Eight. Not bad so far. The Sabbath ceasefire? Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, it's individual. Very cool. Oh, Novorossian General Governor. Oh, I guess the Russian Empire died. Very cool. Alright. Uh, so, with that one done, it is 1938. Let's grab some of this for more coordination. Um, let's take a look. See, I wonder what's gonna happen after this one. Present speeches. Uh, we get more. Wow, look at that weekly stability plus five percent. Holy crap, plus 30 percent more political power. Holy crap, too. Um, <clears throat> discussion of command, discussion of doctrine. I can do command first. The direction of the army command is of great importance to our overall doctrine and the manner in which we shall prosecute the wars in the future. 
and instituted revolutionary commanders. Establishing a proper office, uh, officer academy will vastly improve the quality of military staff, from generals all the way down to squad leaders and company commanders. Discussion of doctrine. There are official army doctrines yet to be determined after the success of the Brusilov Offensive in 1916, and successive offensive operations during the Civil War has become clear that some of the old guard ideas of infantry combat are outdated and change is needed. The question remains, where uh, will our army's strength lie? That's a very good question, actually. <clears throat> Trade interdiction will go with that one just because we have mostly subs. You know, they're not, still not very good. Whatever. <coughs> I did throw on these guys. What? Uh, engineer companies. And for the ca cavalry, I did throw on some artillery. Now, we do have a second one, garrisons, which is actually... This is the actual template that we started with. They started with military police, which is actually very nice. So, uh, light tank manufacturers often. Uh, mechanized production cost goes down. Truck production cost goes down. Uh... I'm not really going to use light tanks. Maybe we'll use it. I don't know. Uh, truck costs. Eventually we get enough trucks anyways. Yeah, I'll go. Kursky's vision. Leading this country back is hard work. Every day there are deals that have to be made. Enemies of the state to be killed. Bills to pass and swimming to other things. And as he let his head lay on the pillow of his bed, Kursky felt exhausted from the constant work. See, it was the only time he could sit down and relax. Truly, he was a martyr suffering on the behalf of the Russian people. At least, that's what he thought. But as he drifted off into slumber, he saw the most wonderful thing. He saw a map of the current world. <clears throat> Most started to move and change. Kingdoms and empires became republics. The acceleration of governments fell into disarray, and the international menace in Berlin toppled. It was a world of fraternal republics, and it was beautiful. Kurinsky realized his purpose in that moment. It wasn't just to save Russia, but to bring about the end of history. His republic was the final form that all other powers would emulate. The radical changes and uprisings of years past would be replaced with a slow and steady reform of change. These republics, led by a director and a powerful leader, could save the world. <coughs> Kerensky had a greater purpose than ever before. His armies and strength would plunge into darkness and come out victorious, uh, cutting off the heads of Bolshevism and monarchism. Fraternal republics would stand free and sovereign once more. When he awoke from his slumber, he knew what he was. As Nietzsche said, I am no mere man. I am dynamite. Is that it? Oh, we're down here. Okay. Amid the nations. Zilthoros is an isolated and often maligned country in order to make an impression on the international stage and resonant Reassert our control, proclaim his rightful leaders of all Russia. Increase of opinion. Seek international recognition, which wouldn't be bad. True to the Commonwealth, Co companies of Britain, not bad. And uh, guarantees from London. Turn to America. Also, German cooperation. Ah, we have to be a certain party to do all this stuff. Ah, liberation of the motherland. Now, that's what we like to see. We have so much political power, I love it. Still no one here, which sucks, but and still no one here. Oh, we gotta talk about discussion command. Um not really using this too much. I get division attack, which is not bad actually. More division attack and more max speed is not bad for where we're at right now. Bacon throw no longer. <clears throat> more speed defense. Defense speed. Okay. Discussion of the mother liberation of the motherland. With the East secure, we can at least secure Russia proper. The motherland beckons her sons and daughters at home. Oh, get free course on that stuff. That'd be really fun to do, actually. So with all that in mind, doing all this stuff is going to be super important. Well, honestly, since we're going to go superior firepower anyways, we'll probably go with Von Spetsi. Yeah, we'll probably go this way. Let's go with destruction of Doctrine on the Von Spetsi. Uh, the military leaders with the most experience should be given the reins, the leaders from before the revolution. Honest officers of the Emperor march with the conscious and join the revolutionaries. They should not lead us astray. Go with this guy, of course, and focus on firepower. The horrendous loss of life and Belikyolibonia cannot be repeated as mass infantry charges and reckless disregard for life can be supplanted by excessive firepower. We shall widow down our foes with minimal loss through sheer force of fire. Uh, this is cool. And then, direction of command, single command principle. Uh, prevent a new Red Repo Napoleon. Air fleet of Free Russia? <clears throat> Robust command of the skies over free Russia allows greater freedom to maneuver our armies. Research into new air tactics are an important step in gaining advantage in this field of battle. Army High Command Selection. We need a new commander. The halls, as the halls of powers look within the possible choices. While Boris Shapshenikov believes in autonomy for various divisions, Dukhachevsky believes in the armored superiority across the vast fields of Russia. And really, while this one may be controversial, it is certainly enticing to imagine Russian tanks lining the fields of the Siberian steppe. Lastly, there is Wolchichowski, who believes in a much different approach to regaining Russia. And that's who used trench warfare in favor of defense over offense. Which is a many strange but certainly possible approach. The country looks towards the future to reclaim Russia, needs a new commander, so who do we pick? Shapshnikov's Doctrine of Autonomy? Uh, uh Wojciechowski's Doctrine of Defense? Tukhachevsky's Doctrine of Tanks? 
As much as I like tanks, we're probably not going to go with tanks for this campaign. As much as I like the 5% more attack. Um, Shapshnikov? We'll choose Shapshnikov for now. So we got a lot of this stuff done already. Um, we're going to keep going down the mid the, arm of the nation. Or mid the nations. Um, yeah. We'll go with that one. As we sent volunteers to... Well, either side, we really, really don't care. They're Kingdom of Romania. But not really. We sent... Uh, yeah, Kingdom of Romania. Well, we sent... And there's also the Moldovan state as well. So, dictatorship... Liberal democracy, maybe, I don't know about, it's not, not liberal democracy, but, you know, whatever. We still want to take division, which is not very strong, but whatever. Happy 1939, everybody. Hope you're having a great year. We need some, we need some martial tanks. We need to get more stuff here, too, so. We're just here for the arm XP, maybe a little bit of air XP as well, we'll see. We're not doing very much here, even though we did send some fighters. Um, yeah, we'll probably also use some bombers. But, we gotta get ready for our own wars, too. I want you to come back since you're not really doing anything here. Let's see what you can do up here. It's only seven, which is not very good, but whatever. And they'll should get here eventually. Come on. You're only flying halfway around the world, that's all. There you go. Oh, you're creating features to collect those ends. Okay, well, liberation of the motherland. Every state will be claimed by us, which is very, very good. <clears throat> it's going to suck a whole bunch as we try to move into this territory. And we have no supply up here. Oh, great. Well then, that's why we have horses. Literally why we have horses. Well, let's wait a little bit first. We'll do that. Uh, two, three, let's grab a lot more army XP. Russivism. One more output is always good and welcome. Yeah, just. Kapuchev's learning a lot. It's nice. Well, that's certainly not good. That's actually very good. These guys lost in war. Huh. Oh, well. Yakutia is switching sides. Yakutia was uh, originally aligned with the Republic. But the coward Stark betrayed the cause and joined Kolchak. It's high time we retook the Yakutia government. Nice. Oh. <coughs> Capture have learning how to become a panzer leader. Urban assault specialist and organizer. Very good. Can you guys actually win here? Yeah, maybe. Can they pierce us? Yeah, they can. These things aren't great. Let them reassemble themselves and go to neighbors because you can. Construction speed. I don't want to lose any war support. Work with trade unions. Eh, it's okay. Progressivism. More support, support, please. And you could do switching sides. And. Nice. Well, we'll see about that. Seek international recognition. Due to our defeat in civil war, many nations do not recognize us as a legitimate government of Russia. In the Serbian towns, when the Tsar's group diminished, it's worth petitioning sympathetic parties to recognize us at least. Or last. Kingdom of something group. Cool. Well. Can we go to war with you guys now? Take a hundred days. Holy crap. Take claim state. Well then. It's going to take a long time to get over there. It's alright though. Wow, come with the Poland looking look really weird. Very weird. The Western Democratic Republic, eh? Can you guys actually win here? Maybe. Are we doing any damage? Barely. We have 12 planes. Not bad. Yeah, I guess lost. Whatever. I threw up here. Let's get down to the Oh, they want to attack us. Which I'm okay with when they want to attack us. So this will be a core of us eventually. Nice. Good. Nice. We do that because we can. We get some better artillery as well. So no one's good enough here for that part yet. Switching sides.
our attempt failed. Our attempt at seizing the Yakutian governors failed, however. Oh, we just go to war with them. This does not stop us from seizing the state by force. Our men are prepared at the borders. And a full scale invasion of Yakutia would be easy, although some suggest we should wait behind and take our chances elsewhere. Onward to Kamchatka. What if we were to force our attack? Is that possible? Take international recognition. Nice. Suffering among the brethren. Many nations in the periphery of the old empire that found their freedom along the, following the revolution is worth approaching them and attempting to make uh, the former subjects of the Tsar into allies to, in the struggle to finally end the empire. Can't go to war economy. That sucks. Don't know in here. Which sucks as well. Better guns. Yes. Good. I'd love to use these guys here, but it's not worth using them here yet. Losses, 2,000 versus 6,000. Not bad, not bad. Supply just sucks so much. I mean, we can do the whole thing here. We can do it like that, but still. Um, let's keep going with this one. Artillery modernization. Modernizing artillery batteries using combat to reach further, strike harder, and become, it will be more mobile. It will, be, it will enable much greater effective use than the infantry before the infantry must be sent in. Um, what's the Air Force doing? At least push him over for now. Concessions, yeah, you guys will. <clears throat> Two, three thousand more manpower. Trying to build that naval base here. July 19th, it'll help out slightly. But anyone here would not be bad either. We do definitely need to go here though. Oops, so industries. Again, at least a little bit of supply right there, which is good. They want to attack us, which is fine. Probably a war room. More war support would be good. Um, stability because you can. Construction speed goes up. Nice. Oh. A lot of stuff is just auto bypassed. Look this one, as well as this one. Revolution is at home. We'll see. We'll get there a little later. Uh, let's see. Let's go with ocular modernization. That's nice. If we get to Yakutsk, that's probably the most important thing that we could do. Because there's supply up there. But it's not, it won't be connected no matter what, so that really actually sucks. So all but you go right there. See what you can do about that. <coughs> and then after that, experience previous wars. The Velik Velikia Vonya in some wars taught us our commanders much of the new modern manner of warfare. We must learn from the past to see the future. <coughs> Excuse me. We're on free trade. And again, I mean, it doesn't hurt us that we're on free trade. So, yeah. Probably need to push up three or two. Slowly, 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 we'll be taking pieces of territory. Can we actually build this thing up in time, September? Oh, yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah, we will be able to. Oops, supply point first, improve machine tools, very nice. Grab some of that too. What is up for that thing? Not bad. Promise of capital owners, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Oh, Poland's going to war with those guys. Okay, well, whatever. Oil processing, rubber, some better artillery. That'd be nice. Make four divisions attacking that way. It's under construction, but it's halfway done. Happy to be coming done. It's very good, actually. Yeah. I forgot in this uh, mod that we actually do really well with... Oh, look at Italy. Um, building supply points. It's very nice. Building modernization experience previous wars being good. So, we are not a dictatorship. Single command principle. Preventing a new Napoleon. Huh. Well. Change the command. 
Uh, a new red Napoleon. That's not bad. More attack. I like that. We're going to go with single command principle. Unitary command allows for restricted and streamlined chain of command and centralized power of the army. Direct orders and holistic view of battle plans can be advantageous in large scale battle. Yeah. I'm actually going to go right there. A single division. You can circle two divisions and kill them all that way. We're going to need some uh, logistic companies too. You almost there? They're getting there. Alright, so we should have the supply point made. Now we're going to work on that to get some supply through there too. And you're not allowed to lose, so you guys are going to go in here. There's two divisions that they're going to lose, which is very, actually very big. Especially when they've only eight, the 18 max. It's very nice. There we go. Good. Division died. And the other division died as well. If we could just come up to here, that'd be great. But we can't. That sucks. Come on, keep building the roads. Nice. A couple spare divisions. Nice, nice, nice. Um, let's try that, maybe. Experience of previous wars. Single command principle. Get better guns. That'd be very nice. Got tons of political power. Strength and discipline. Requires one of the following. Exclusive with everything else. Max planning. I kind of like this one a whole bunch. I actually want to do this one. Disciplines strengthened. The disorganization of the Russian army was a major flaw in the Velike Volnia, and the chief cause of our excessive casualties. Things improved somewhat in the Civil War, but a general disorganization was in part to blame for the poor Republican treat. Never again shall this occur. Nice. Better artillery, yes. More research, yes. Anti-air, that'd be very good. It's almost 1940. Go and grab some of that. Oh, let's grab that one first. More coordination, please. Thank you. Oh, I'm out. Oh, what do we have here? More attack? Yes, please. Oh, he's going to organize us. Very good, actually. Ah, we're looking way better on supplies now. I wonder why. Because we actually have a supply point here. Look at that. Go figure. How about we all go in? And actually, you know what? Go this way. With supply, we can actually maybe do something here. Maybe. Maybe not. Hopefully. More support? Yes. Because you can. Power because he can. Progressivism because he can. Never knew di how dictatorial Kerensky would actually become. We need more guns. <coughs> and we'll throw on 100% nice. Very good. Anything here? Uh, elastic defense. Suppression barrage. Delay. Let's wait a little further. If you guy there, that's fine. Whatever, I don't really care. So we can discipline. Anti-air upgrades. 1940. Grab some of this as well. It'd be very nice. Focus on taking these guys out. Up to 16 divisions max. They lost 48,000. We've not lost that many. We're actually quite good. How much more strength does Yakutia have? None! Stockpile. They have no tr no guns, too. we got a few more guns we can spare. Strength and discipline. And then, hail to those who gave the freedom. Who gave the freedom. The heroes who gave the lives to the revolution to be remembered, lionized, and immortalized. They serve as the ultimate inspiration for the next generation and for those to come. These guys are flooding through there, which is not good, but whatever. Take your Kutia. Or your Kut. Cut them off. And we'll deal with these guys in just a little bit again. Hey, and I took them down here too. Look at that. Nice. Mr. Daniel, help about. And we'll go with tactical bombers, yes. Hey, more divisions, nice. Good, too. Good, good, good. Ah, they cut off from the capital. It's actually very good, too. Um, don't want to attack down here, but whatever. Sixteen thousand lost. Sixty-nine thousand have been lost. Come on, man. Improve radar. Um, get some research speed. Good. You could use ours. But it's not enough to kill them all. God dang it. I want you guys to go over here, though. They're flooding through here, which is not good. These guys should die soon enough. And honestly, they really should. 
Uh, emergency room measures. Not too many emergency measures there. Uh, progressivism because he can. No one's leveled up enough. Level oh, you're level five now. It's not bad. Still. Good send tanks, but now nah, we're not that crazy. Not yet. And after this one, we'll go with, of course, air fleet. Uh, bearing destruction. While well, it's a distasteful practice, the bombing of industrial targets populated by civilians is a new reality of total war. Some bombers can fly low, the fighter escort to bomb military targets, but others can carry heavy payloads for targeted in industrial disruption. Good. Don't let him move. That guy's running a whole crap ton. He's almost an engineer. And now he's an engineer. He's almost a ranger too. Equipment capture ratio would be not bad. Port attack not bad either. Here, cap capture more equipment. So now they're left with <clears throat> up to six divisions max. Not bad. Hey, they all died. Good job, guys. It should go pretty easily now. Oh, I'm Peng Chong government has won. Oh, the Koreans actually united. Go figure. I don't know what to do with my pee pee now. <coughs> well, what are we doing here? We're building up more roads. It's not bad. But let's build up some um, cities. And we need more millies too. Now we can use way more guns still. Lost quite a bit of artillery as well. Port here just in case, maybe? 3 to 5, plenty of trucks. Ah, oh, they might have been mobilized, maybe a little more. Where are they on? Scraping the barrel? Wow. Makes sense. Remnants of the Pacific Fleet. Coast Guard volunteers. That's actually really nice. North Asian Unity. Wow. They're really scraping for as much. Every single one of these has population. That's rare to see. Actual population. Oh. Let's see, we're missing guns. Which is okay. Anti air. I don't really want to increase the supply use. We would have enough, though. It's not bad. Do we need Magadon? Is that it? 93% of the way there. Holy crap. Oh, there goes those guys, too. Come on, take Magadon. How much further until we're done with this supply point? Two days. We actually get some supply through here. Air fleet of Russia, nice. Bearing destruction. Hey, there we go, we got him. Nice, not bad. And I guess up next, emergency production is over. Trans by call might be the way we go, I don't know. Uh, but let's go look, see here. So after that one, we'll come back down here. Probably finish this campaign in the next episode. Help our brothers in Siberia. Our comrades in Siberia are struggling under the boot of the despots and reactionaries. Many of them desire the freedom of the Republic, yet are bound and enslaved. We must liberate them. Return to Central Asia. Ooh. Offensive on Moscow. Desert campaign. Well, let's see. Trans by call and the Siberian Federative Republic. Russian Empire. Um, Siberian Federative Republic. Oh, we go to war with them too. Yeah, help a brother in Siberia. Do we. Every core state. It's not a core of us. Well, I guess, you know. There's a campaign, a peace must be following this neighbor. Well, we'll wait for that one then. I'll probably turn to the Commonwealth in all honesty. The Angles are a unique position, still having the global empire following the Velika Volna of Berli. Many of the most influential politicians are sympathetic to a revolutionary struggle and will support the willing to reach out. Companies of Britain. Industrial investment from the enterprising Angles has the potential to enrich both their nation and advance our economy. Guarantees from London. The Republic can be safeguarded by seeking the protection of other free market advocates such as those in London. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll probably try to unify all of Russia. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.